Hi, so I am recording a video today for the first time in I don't know how long. Uh, I thought it might be nice to for me to have a break from writing and you to have a break from reading. But the question I wanted to, the topic I wanted to cover today is a question I get asked quite a lot. Um, or also something that uh, is Googled a lot that comes through to my blog. And the question is, can I heal? Can I heal from this death in my life? Is it possible at all to heal totally from this? Um, can I get over it? All different variations of the question, can I heal from this death? Now, um, I just want to clarify what I mean by healing. I'm not talking about you get used to it, you've begrudgingly accepted it, um, but you'd still change it, but you still don't like it, but it still hurts. But, you know, when you think about your, your person that died, it still hurts you, and sometimes when you talk about them, it hurts you. That's not healed. I'm talking about a place where you talk about them, you talk about them, you talk about their life and death, it doesn't hurt you. You talk about their death, the circumstances of their death, it doesn't hurt you. You think about them, uh, you think about their life and death, anything you like, it doesn't hurt you. You love them and it doesn't bring up any pain. That is healed. Okay, that is healed. Can you do that? The simple answer is yes. Yes, you can. You can heal. You absolutely can heal from a death in your life. Now, your very next question might be, well, how? How on earth is that possible? The how is relevant, but it's not so relevant right now, and I'll explain why. Um, for a couple of reasons. Because first, it's really, really important to get into your head that understanding that you can. A lot of people then want to know how because that's, that can be their explanation of why they can't. I can't heal because how is that possible? Just because you don't know how to do something doesn't make it possible. You know, I don't know how to uh, bake a cake from scratch. It doesn't make it impossible, right? I don't know how to build a house. That doesn't make it impossible. Okay, so just because you don't know the how of how to do something doesn't mean you're not going to be able to do it. And of course, from standing from a perspective where you haven't done it, if I haven't built a house before, I am going to go, oh God, how am I going to do that? It doesn't mean it's impossible. I just have things to learn as I go. Um, the other thing is that even more important is that often people will say, okay, all right, how, but how? How can I heal? Now, from that space, you've often still got in your head, no, I can't. No, I can't. It's not possible. It's impossible. I'm never going to heal. Never get over it. I know it. Everybody knows it. From that space, it doesn't matter what you're told next because it's not going to mean anything to you. When you have already told your mind this thing is not possible, your mind will stop looking. Your mind will stop looking for, for explanations. It won't take in any information that tells you how to do it. In fact, because all it will be looking is to prove itself right. So it doesn't matter what anybody tells you next. If you've put a wall up that says it's not possible, it doesn't matter what the path is beyond that or whether I or anyone else explains to you a path beyond that of how to get to healing. If you've already put that wall up, that's where you're going to stop. So it's actually really, really important to get in your head that it is possible to heal. That's, it's a really important step because not believing that will be a massive barrier. If you really don't believe it's impossible, if you keep telling yourself it's impossible, um, that'll stop you from going anywhere, no matter what help you're given or what information you're given after that. Okay? Now, it might seem it's hard to believe that you could heal because from where you are right now, you think, how could, it, how could, this, ever, how could this ever heal? How could I feel it's healed? And especially because almost everybody you know, if not everybody, and I'm talking people around you, I'm talking books on death and grief, I'm talking professionals, they're going to tell you that you cannot completely get over this. They're going to tell you that it's impossible, that you will always miss them, that you will always feel sad. Um, so, so in amongst all of that constant noise, it's really important that you're able to hold this idea that it is possible. And how, how do you know that it's possible to do something? You don't need to know the way to do it. All you need to know is that someone has done it. Because if one person has done something, it's possible. Now, I like to think I'm a bit unique, but I'm not so unique as to be the only person 
it's healed completely. Um, I know some other people that I've met have healed completely from grief beyond what they've been told is possible. I get to see some of the people I work with. I get to see um, working with my clients, them heal beyond what they've been told. But I myself have done it. This isn't just hearsay or something someone's told me. I have healed beyond what most people will tell me is possible, beyond what I was ever told was possible, and indeed beyond what people still try and tell me is possible, um, even though I've done it. My dad died very suddenly, and <clears throat> there were five other family members within four months. So there were six of them in four months that died, something that at the time I imagined I could never heal from, something I was told I'd never heal from, but I have. I can think about those events now. There's no darkness around them. There's no sadness. There's no regret. There's nothing that I would change. These are beautiful parts of my life. They're beautiful parts of the lives of those who died. Um, and I have only love and lightness when I think about those things. So I have healed completely from those beyond what you may have believed is true. And like I say, if you know one person has done something then it becomes possible, okay? The four-minute mile was believed to be a physical impossibility until someone ran it. Now, after that happened, was it easy? No. Was everybody going to be able to, to go and run the four-minute mile, just get off their sofa and run the four-minute mile? No. Did everybody know how to run a four-minute mile? No. But was it possible? Yes. Someone had done it. It was, it was now possible. It was understood to be possible. Now, I've never run a four-minute mile. Lots of people I know haven't run a four-minute mile, but I'm never going to try and claim that it's impossible. Um, I haven't been to the moon. And most people I know, most people I know, everybody I know hasn't been to the moon. I don't personally know anybody who has traveled to the moon. Yet, I know it's not possible. I know it's not impossible. I know it's possible because it's been done. So it doesn't matter if you don't know how you're going to get there. It doesn't matter if from this point, I mean, God, I can't imagine going out running a four-minute mile or going to the moon. It, pretty much they sound about as likely as one as the other. But just because I don't know how to do it, just because from where I am at now, I can't imagine how I can get there, doesn't make it impossible. It is possible. So can I run a four-minute mile? Yes. Could I make a trip to the moon? Yeah. As the future comes forth, there's, you know, find yourself on Richard Branson's ship or a lot of other ways. I don't know about a lot of other ways. I'm sure other ways will emerge, but it is a possibility. Can you heal? Can you heal from this death in your life? Can you heal completely, totally, permanently from this pain so that you can think about and talk about and love someone in your life who has died without it hurting you? Yes. It's been done before you, so yes, you can. And that, that is all you need to know to start with.